Friday morning to Heartland. Even though we are waking up on a dry and quiet note, things are going to change in just a few hours, and that's because we're tracking our next winter storm of 2019. And because of that, KTV is issuing a weather worn day for today, and we will have a winter storm warning that will go into effect around 3 p.m. today for our entire viewing area, and that will remain in effect for southeast Iowa until 6 a.m. tomorrow morning and 3 p.m. Uh, tomorrow afternoon for northeast Missouri. So like I mentioned, the snow is coming. The good news is, is it's changed. And because of that, we aren't going to have to worry about any freezing rain before we see snow. So right now, all we're expecting in the heartland is snow for today, tonight and into tomorrow. Now we're continuing with the heavy pockets of snowfall. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Temperature wise, we are going to be about 28 degrees by lunchtime with plenty of cloudy skies. And then we'll start to see some light snow flurry activity start to develop in our region around 2 p.m., 3 p.m. today, and we'll be topping out at 30 degrees. And then we'll also continue to see the winds intensify uh, once the storm system makes its way into the heartland. So even though we're starting off with light winds today, right now it's going to change as the hours go on. And moderate to heavy snowfall is expected into the overnight hours. And we're going to have windy conditions that could create some blizzard-like conditions and whiteout conditions because of the blowing snow. Look at this. We're going to see wind of up to 15 to 25 miles per hour, gusting up to 40 miles per hour, and that is going to create those hazardous conditions out on the roadways. 18 as our high for tomorrow. The snow should exit by noontime tomorrow, but we'll continue with those cold conditions and blustery conditions. Winds will die down just a little bit, but we could see gusts up to 28 miles per hour. So taking a look at our future cast, cloudy skies right now, and then by 1 p.m. is when we're going to start to see that snow activity make its way into the northern portions of southeast Iowa and then by 3 p.m. it's starting to slide through into northeast Missouri and then by the evening hours 8 o'clock we're going to start to see snowfall throughout the entire viewing area with those strong winds. It will continue into the overnight hours with moderate to heavy snowfall and gusty winds as well and it should start to taper off by lunchtime tomorrow. We might see some lingering snow flurries here and there but other than that the majority of that snowfall is going to happen into the overnight hours and then we'll be left with cloudy skies uh, on the back end of that. So our threat levels with this snowstorm snow, obviously, like I mentioned, moderate to heavy snowfall. We could see anywhere from four to eight inches, so very widespread, but we could see upwards of eight inches of snowfall in some areas of the heartland. The models right now are showing more likely four to six inches of snowfall once this storm is over with. Winds will also be a threat and will continue to be a threat well into Sunday before we start to see them die down. And that's when we'll see colder air on the back end as well with 18 as our high for tomorrow. Overnight lows dipping down to two degrees Saturday night and then 15 as our high on Sunday. But the tad bit of good news is is we're going to eventually start to see some sunshine peek through those clouds and then we'll warm back up on Monday before another small disturbance makes its way into the heartland that could produce some light snow flurries in the overnight hours for southeast Iowa on Monday and then a widespread of rain showers and possibly some snow showers on Tuesday for our entire viewing area 33 as our high and then we'll see temperatures drop back down starting Wednesday. Of course you can check us out anytime on our website ktvo.com.